A family trying to process the unimaginable pain of losing a child. Six-year-old Rory De Cristoforo was the baby of the family, playful and loving. A raging fire stole the family's joy. Especially around the holidays, there's so many tragedies that happen. About 60 firefighters responded to the family's home here on Brookside Avenue in the New Brighton section of Staten Island. It was New Year's Day. Thick black smoke could be seen shooting out of the house. Six-year-old Rory was trapped inside of a second-floor bedroom. Emergency crews were able to get her out, but it was too late. They were working on her on, in front of the house. The guy, his name is Mark. He was hysterical crying. The loss of little Rory touching this entire community. Neighbors described as close-knit. Anthony Gafrido has lived here for decades. He has three grandchildren. One of them is also six years old. You're never safe enough. You got to make sure everything's working in the house. I always double-check all my smoke detectors. And, and I told my daughter, always show the kids an escape plan. You think about it on a little roof and jump. Even they break their ankles better than passing away. While the fire department continues to look into the cause, this community is supporting the family. Rory's father is a football coach for St. Peter's High School. In a statement, the president for the high school said, This is such a tragic event. A tragedy of a house burning is something that is unfathomable to believe. But when a life is lost, there are no words. I pray for them last night. I, 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 pray, I pray for them, as you said. The family asked us for privacy, and we definitely understand why. This is the second tragedy in recent weeks. During the Thanksgiving holiday, they also lost a grandmother. To help the family, the community set up a GoFundMe page. For more information on that, just go to our website at pix11.com. Nicole Johnson, Pix11 News.